views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. What if your biggest dreams were already assured as they've been written in the stars? Want a boost to raise your vibration to 5D and higher? Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams helps you access the wisdom of your higher self and guides to balance your ego, progress spiritually, and discover your life purpose and larger soul mission. Wendy is a Seattle area past life regressionist, certified spiritual teacher, Reiki master energy healer, and award-winning author. Plan your magic carpet ride now with Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams. Hey, everybody. I am Dr. Pat, and I get to join Wendy Rose Williams today, Soul Wisdom Radio, for this kickoff to talk about this upcoming show and how absolutely excited we are about Wendy, who is sharing her wisdom, her knowledge, everything that she has learned about past life regression. She's an author, a speaker. She gets this in a way that many, many people don't. And beyond all of that, she's someone that knows absolutely how to help people move beyond whatever it is they are stuck with. Now, as an author, you know, you probably have heard regression healing. You've read Regression Healing 1. You probably are familiar with her other work, but this show is a game changer because each week she's going to have some very, very cool people on and she is going to literally talk it up for the wisdom of your soul, for guidance, for living your joyful life. Today, we get to visit with her in a number of different ways. You know, first of all, it is so great to talk about what is this? What is this idea of soul wisdom? And then how can we, how can we look at our past to enhance now? And so today is a show that many people have been looking forward to because you know for yourself. Sometimes you've tried everything that you could possibly imagine in this earth skin, and it just isn't working. Why is that? Wendy, it's great to have you. Well, thanks, Dr. Pat. I'm so happy to be here. And earth skin, that's, that's a great term. Yeah, that's what we got. <laughs> uh, are you excited about this show? I am very happy to be here. This is, this is great to be here with you and Benny and be live in the studio for the first time. So Yay! super. Um, and, you know, th- this is really this, this show is to introduce people into what past life regression is, in a sense. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I think we get it at some very intuitive level when people hear that, but they don't really know what it can do to help them change their lives. So, you know, take us on a journey. What is past life regression and how does it help us along the way, especially when we're spiritually stuck? Yes. Well, what past life regression is, it is a guided meditation where you are working one-on-one um, with a past life regressionist um, and you're getting to the point where you're deeply relaxing, just like before you fall asleep at night or just when you first wake up in the morning. Hopefully you're not jumping out of bed to the screaming alarm and you know not even giving yourself one second. None of us have done that now, have we? Yeah, right. <laughs> Hit that snooze button. Yeah, not in the last week. That's right. Yeah, not in the last week is That's right, right. right. Not in the last week. So it's being able to just slow down and take a breath and get into your body. And it's someone helping you do that. And what's wonderful for clients is most of them say, well, I'm not sure how to do this. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, how do I prepare? And we're able to walk through those steps together and just get them to know anyone can do this work. Yeah. And it's just simply being guided. Um, and your higher self comes in, which is your soul. Um, and also your guides come in. And that's just really, really special for people to feel more supported. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because, um, you know, I remember, I think I remember the first show mm-hmm. I ever did. Like, 
It's like in 2004 or five. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I'd never heard of past life regression. So it was kind of new. But along the way, I did know about and I learned about hypnosis Mm -hmm. from my friend Pete Siegel, who has since passed on. Um, But it has become way more mainstream now. It has. I mean, there's just, we live in such wonderful times yeah. because there's so many things available to us that are quality. You know, whether it's working with a spiritual teacher, whether it's going to an energetic chiropractor, whether it's going floating, whatever it might be. Floating. That, I, you know, it's funny we're even talking about this because someone was talking to me about floating. And I can't even believe we're talking about it because people now know things that 10 years ago were really foreign. I mean, they were so alternative. And now we're looking at folks in search of figuring out why they're stuck. I mean, it is really uh, a challenge for people in today's world Mm -hmm. because it seems like no matter what they do, no matter how they try, they continue to not be able to move forward, whatever that is, whether it's money, whether it's love, it doesn't matter, right? Correct. And it's it's hard for people to balance up the most important basics. I mean, mm-hmm. you just you just covered a few of them, whether it's the career, you know, taking care of the family, having that that meaningful hobby, that meaningful job, taking care of the home, the pets, but not being a human doing, being mm-hmm. a human being and, and being able to just enjoy those yeah. moments. Yeah. And spiritual stuckness is one of them. So let's talk for a little bit about your own journey and what you discovered about your own spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. You know, Carl Jung, thank you for that. But what that has done for you through the doors opening through past life regression. Yes. And past life regression really blew the doors open for me spiritually. I was not on a spiritual path. It just it just wasn't on my radar. And at 49, all of a sudden, seven years ago, I met someone and Journey of Souls came into my consciousness from Dr. Michael Newton, in which he delineates the past life regression and life between lives sessions mm. of over 7,000 patients over his 30-year career. And the minute I started reading that book, it's like, oh my gosh, this just changes everything. And my memory started flooding back in, which is unusual, but it really was like just opening Alibaba's cave. Mm. <laughs> the big the big stone rolled back and I just got that greater sense of we're not just here one time and we're not just, uh, there's not just the one opportunity. So it just helps you start to relax when you realize you don't have just the one chance. Yeah. You know, what's fascinating is um, I we've heard stories of people getting glimpses, you know, glimpse. And some people have seen like a deja vu moment. Mm-hmm. Um, and yet, does the soul want us to call forth these memories? And for what purpose, if so? Well, I believe the soul is waiting to wake up in us. And certainly some people are more tuned into it. Um, little children are very, very tuned into oh it. Oh my gosh. I are mean, they un- ever? under five, look at the joy. Look at how they're in the moment. Look at how hard it can be to shift them to now we need to do this. Now we need to be somewhere else because they're just so in that moment. So when you can do that child-directed play with them and just sit down on the floor and slow down with them, it's so good for all of us. So certainly children have it, but then it starts to get socialized out because you have to fit in, sadly, at school and certain behaviors are required. Um, and parents want the kids to to succeed and to be liked. So for you know a myriad of reasons, and certainly... Some people are awake from from birth, meaning have a, a sense of their, their greater consciousness of their soul. Let's say, for example, you are, are very intuitive to the point where you're psychic from birth and you're in a family that supports that and knows what to do with that right. and doesn't make fun of your imaginary friend or tell you that's not so, um, but just goes with it and just asks respectful questions. 
So some people, um, you know, are able to just stay there fully, but that's much more rare. Uh, More of us, um, like you said, Pat, have that deja vu moment where something really changes or perhaps they have an accident. Perhaps they have a sudden illness. It's very severe. They lose a marriage. They lose um, a job that they loved, you know, whatever that awakening can be, because some of them are pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah. um, To make people look at what's the bigger picture. And uh, let me ask you this question about awakening from your perspective, what you've discovered in working with people, you know, that have gone through the process. Um, Some people believe they've had multiple, quote, awakenings in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. Um, I know I had one when I was six in Catholic boarding school that I can remember. Mm -hmm. And then I've had others. Mm -hmm. Um, Is there the big one? I think it depends on the person. We're all very unique. Like the big one. Yeah. We're all very unique. Some people, it's a series of little ripple effects. You know, you skip that stone across the water Mm. and it keeps on rippling. Other people, there's that big old rock and it just, whoa, blows the doors open. I got the rock in 92. Mm. I did get that. Mm. That one was a big blow the door open. Um, How do we tap into intuition in the middle of one of these events? And what can past life regression do to help us with spiritual but also physical healing? Let's take a short break, everyone. Wendy Rose Williams in the house. This is really sort of the introduction to an upcoming fabulous show, Soul Wisdom Radio. And you're going to hear lots more about that when we come back. I'm going to make sure you have lots of information about Wendy, all of the above. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Many times I've come. So many times I've run. Tune in to the Psychic Professors Show, the Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio. Featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship. This hit call in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net for show days and times. On the cutting edge of the new mainstream, Christine Upchurch is passionate about bringing together science, psychology, and spirituality in a way that can be applied to our everyday lives for true transformation. The Christine Upchurch Show, stellar conversations to illuminate your journey, engages some of the most outstanding visionaries on the planet in lively dialogue to inspire you to become that bright light you're meant to be. Join Christine every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW, AM 1150, and Transformation Time. Radio. Tune in to the Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. What is a brilliant culture and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence and Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, Visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Are you tired of being tired? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Did you know the adrenal glands, the workhorse of the body? They are the means by which you position yourself in life for whatever comes your way. Tiny but mighty, producing hormones the body uses to promote energy and vitality. These adrenals determine how you respond to stress and when depleted, The body loses its ability to function powerfully when we need it most. The much-needed adrenaline or epinephrine is not available for emergency situations. Cortisone and cortisol, the longer-acting anti-stress adrenal hormones, can also become depleted due to the pace of our everyday lives. We overwork and undernutrition our most powerful ally that helps us to live the lives we desire. We are able to determine the optimum function of the adrenals and put your system back in balance. Contact us today to feel powerfully energized. 
at 888-777-4232 or visit us at maryjanemack.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. You know, I'm so thrilled to be introducing all of you to Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams. And this is about living your joyful life. You know, but sometimes what happens in living your joyful life, you get stuck. And, you know, sometimes it's a little stuck or sometimes it's bigger than that. Uh, But, Wendy, you work with people every day. Um, So tell us, first of all, how can people find out more about you? How can they contact you to work with you? Um, and how can they find out more about Soul Wisdom Radio? Yes. Well, please visit my website at wendyrosewilliams.com. And Wendy's spelled with a Y. And you can also uh, telephone, which is 425-502-0362. And find me on Facebook as Wendy Rose Williams. Well, we're going to talk about past life regression because, you know, while it may be getting more mainstream, you know, there are people that hear it but may not like, okay, I think I know what it is, but I don't really. And this is where we get to share what it is, what it isn't. But more importantly, how does it help us in our physical healing, but also how does it help us remove blocks to our abundance? Mm -hmm. Well, what past life regression is doing is helping you raise your vibration. Um, So it's helping you balance your energy. It's helping you quiet down that monkey mind so that you can hear um, your intuition and trust it and be able to follow it. Um, And a lot of clients do have a pretty profound experience with meeting their higher self much more consciously during the session And then we help that alignment just remain with them. Same thing with their guides. A lot of people have a sense of guidance around them. Um, You know, maybe it's a parent who's passed on. Maybe it's an angel, whatever it might be. But again, getting that alignment um, so that you just feel that wisdom and that support and that love there for you all the time so that you can feel confident in the decisions you're making Mm. and the actions you're taking. Well, you know, one of the things I think that we all relate to are some of the stories. I mean, clearly in your books, when you write about the stories and you take us on a journey, it's like, oh, my gosh, did that really happen? And so the question, I think, is what are some of the the more phenomenal experience you've witnessed people have? Yes. The physical um, healing and writing up by going back to that lifetime of origin can be profound. Um, I worked with a lovely um, woman, very active, newly retired, um, just just beautiful um, woman, and she was really losing her hearing. And she it was past the point where hearing aids could help. She'd had multiple surgeries on her ears, which is not fun to go through. And the problem was that the surgeries were failing over time. So she didn't know what to do. Um, So we did a past life regression together. And very quickly during that, um, she went to a past life um, in the time of, believe it or not, Robin Hood, Sherwood Forest. (laughs) Don't we all know the stories? Yes, it can be an archetype. But she went back to that lifetime as a young boy And she was unfortunately um, captured and had a rather um, quick, uh, gruesome death with a lance through her ears. And just her voice when she recognized what had happened, and I was able to say to her, do you understand that this was a long time ago and you don't need to have this problem anymore? You can simply release it. Um, you know, let's bring in the healing for that. It's that sort of an experience. Um, or it's like in my first book, in Regression Healing One, where Simon learned that he was having all this um, neck pain and back pain um, because 
he had been tortured. And again, that was a long time ago. It was no longer useful in his life. And for him to be able to just free up and for me to be able to see him physically be releasing that old energy that can get stuck. Right. So perhaps there, that's where we get to the need for the yeah, crust Yeah, what busting. happened to the woman with the... Uh, with the, the hearing. The, the, yeah. She is doing much better. She's not... But how had, did she come out of the session then? I mean... We, we had a long, good session. It was yeah. probably four hours or so. Wow. Wow. Um, and I was in... Um, I was with her in in person. It was one of the first sessions I did Mm. um, before I transitioned to becoming a Skype and a a teleconference appointment um, because I learned that it was just the same energy. Um, But she she's made really remarkable um, progress. She continues to work on it. She uses tapping. So she's doing um, EFT. And that continues to um, keep that clear. She's not had to have any more surgeries. Well, that's my question, right? And that's kind of that. That's kind of the game changer, right? Correct. Because you have an experience. Woman works with you. She has a realization, an awakening, and it's a consciousness awakening mm-hmm. to remember that. And then something shifts. Whatever that is, mm-hmm. I don't really know what that is, but it shifts. And then decisions are made in the life, in a life, as to how you take those next steps. See, what I'm talking about is people, my friend Pete used to say this to me all the time. Well, he said a lot of things. It it just, but he would say, listen, we can have these sessions just like with you, Wendy, but then we need help the next step. And that's also the work you do. Yes, yeah, very much the next so. Step. That's that's the difference of working with an experienced past life regressionist versus having someone do a reading for you yeah. and saying, oh. "Oh, gee, I see you as X, Y, Z." Well, that may or may not be accurate. And B, what do I do with that? What do we do with you know, that? How do you process that? Okay, I used to be you a don't. queen. Right. What, what do I do with that? <laughs> but that's why I wanted to talk with you today about this, because, you know, once the show starts and you're interviewing people, I want people to know that what you've created here in the body of work that you have and anybody, y'all out there, all you got to do is read the books and you'll get to see. This isn't just about a snapshot of one time. This is about how do we help people enter the journey be in the journey, and then step forward in the journey. And those two bookends, those are the pieces that are missing in a lot of work that people do, I think. Exactly. And that's where I'm very fortunate because I'm a Reiki master, so I'm able to help with the energy, and I'm able to help clear people and balance their energy so that they can process it. I'm able to help them reframe, and I am a certified spiritual teacher. And I just bring those pieces together. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, the other part of this is I was reading a little bit and, um, um, you know, about the the client uh, legally blind. Yes. Now that, okay, so I relate to this because about two years ago, maybe three, I was in the middle of my own illness and my eyesight was going and I had a very, eye doctors, right? They got these language. You have a very aggressive form of blah, 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 and you need to get this operated on now. Where the heck would that happen? You know, so we can get stuck in the story Mm -hmm. and not be able to move forward. But tell us about that, because Mm -hmm. I know for me that that dialogue about going blind, like within a month, that scared me. It's very terrifying to think that you could lose a main, a main sense that we completely completely rely on i mean our mobility too but our ability to see hear communicate to move easily um absolutely so i worked with um, a woman who is legally blind she's very low vision um she'd earned her living as a massage therapist um so she is a healer herself and Mm. she needed retina surgery and this was probably the seventh or eighth surgery that she's had she's in her 40s Um, and when she first came to me, um, her right eye was completely swollen shut. 
Mm-hmm. And I mean, yes, she's getting good follow-up care and the ophthalmologist is doing everything they can, but she had no vision. I mean, you can't have any vision when you can't even open your eye. Right. And it just was not, it was just was not going down, even though she's following all the, the correct Western medicine medical procedures. And we, we did a one hour session. We didn't do a full um, regression healing. We did a one hour soul wisdom session via telephone. And she pretty quickly found the emotional root of her condition. And all of a sudden she's like, Oh, I see why I chose this life. I see why I chose this challenge. Hmm. And spiritual healers came in and she was describing to me and, and understand physically she can't see anything out of that eye, but she was telling me we opened her third eye and she was telling me, okay, I see bright white light. I said, just keep you know both your eyes closed. And she was just describing so beautifully. So I recorded that for her and she can... She keeps playing the recording. Um, And within two or three days, she sent me an email and she said, I can see a little bit. I'm starting to see again. I see forms and it's coming back. Um, So she was looking forward to a much, a much um, better, better path from that. Yeah. I mean, this is part of a bigger story, which we're going to talk about when we come back. And that is, you know, how do we have these experiences and how does it affect other parts of our life? So, for example, We don't think about this helping us with our financial situations. And, you know, I was working with someone or or talking with someone over the weekend. And I'm, I'm so acutely aware of language. I'm acutely aware of somebody saying, I had the most disappointing week. Or I live in poverty. Or, I mean, that kind of language. But I had to learn that since I started doing the radio right? I had to learn some things. When we come back, I want to talk with you about the attachment of emotions, you know, our emotions and how we can have these breakthroughs, which could even affect our financial situation. Absolutely. Financial situation. We're going to take a short break when we come back more with Wendy Rose Williams on, you know, this is a fabulous show. Wendy's going to be doing this show. You're going to love it. And I know we're not opening up phone lines today, but if you do have a burning question for Wendy, I would love for you to please get in here and give it to Mr. Benny. 1-800-930-2819. When we come back, we're going to tell you how you can get copies of our book, how you can find out more, how you can book your session, all of the above. And maybe Wendy will even talk about how she works with Skype now. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Tags on everyone. And you can come and see that one. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you are ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com. Or call 866 903 6463. That's 866-903-MIND. In this day and age, if you don't reinvent yourself, you may never find balance, peace, and the sustainable life that is your birthright. Angela Watson Robertson, known as the Reinvention Warrior and the host of Breakthrough Radio Show Masters of Reinvention, is here to help you reinvent every area of your life. Tune in and hear from the best in the personal transformation business and discover tips and tools for positive change. Live every month on Transformation Talk Radio. Are you struggling in a relationship and deeply craving some tools and support to get things back on track? Do you crave having a loving, compassionate relationship with Mr. Right, but always seem to pick Mr. Wrong? Well, Sarah Luce can help. She's created a four-week online course starting September 28th that will teach you how to shift your energy and behavior to have new transformative outcomes. 
And you're going to get a personal one-on-one session with Sarah to ensure you get powerful personal results. Sign up today at saraluce.com. Have you ever said to yourself, I need to let this go? While the phrase sounds effective, what does it actually mean? How do you let something go? Hi, I'm Eve from Elite Tarot, host of the weekly show Mainstream Metaphysics Radio. As an intuitive coach and professional tarot card reader, I work with clients worldwide on using energy effectively to embrace joy. Here's an idea when letting something go. Find a time you won't be disturbed and just between you and the universe, hand write a letter sharing all your feelings of anger, hurt, and sadness. At the end, write, however, I choose to live my life with love, joy, and strength, and so for all that, I release you. After you sign your name, immediately shred the letter noting how your body physically feels as you release something that you've been carrying for oh so long. If you'd like to schedule a session, please visit my site at EliteTarot.com. That's E-L-I-T-E-T-A-R-O-T.com. Around downtown, From some other planet, I get this funky high on the yellow sun. Boy, I bet my friends are all really stunned. Well, they're stunned. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, listen, everybody, pretty soon you're not going to hear my voice. You're going to hear the voice of Wendy Rose Williams joining me here today because she is the host. It's a fabulous hit show, Soul Wisdom Radio. And it is Soul Wisdom Radio, living your joyful life. And what you're going to really experience with Wendy is She's going to have fabulous guests, going to open up the lines, going to have call-ins, going to just like, it's just going to, it's just crazy good. And what I love about it is you're going to experience someone that's not just talking, 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 but she's helping people listen to these stories in her book. When you open the books up uh, and I read that first book and I'm reading and reading and I'm telling you, I couldn't put the thing down. Why is it? Because we're now at a place where we want answers and we know that the answers are within us. So, Wendy, before we keep going here, how can people find out more about you, the show? How can they buy the books? All of the above. Yes. Well, please go to my brand new website, wendyrosewilliams.com. And feel free to use that little contact um, section in there and Send me some comments. Um, give me a critique of the website. It's brand new. I'd love to hear from you. I love so, that. Feedback. Exactly. Feedback is a good thing. We love feedback. <laughs> Honestly, Absolutely. we wouldn't be here as a show or a network had we not listened to everything every listener ever said to us and every client we've ever had, and we implemented it. We actually would not be here, so I love that. It's called being market-driven. I just so appreciate um, the feedback that people take the time, um, yeah. you know, to share their thoughtful opinion. Yeah. Um, so, and the book, Regression Healing One, mm-hmm. is available on Amazon.com. Just go to the books tab on there and put in my full name, Wendy Rose Williams, so you get the correct Wendy Williams. <laughs> um, or you can put in the title, Regression Healing One. Yeah. Okay. So a lot to talk about here. We may actually decide to skip the last break. Um, Emotional breakthroughs. Now, listen, I was sharing a story during the break a little bit. And I want to ask you, past life regression, help with anxiety, depression, negative emotions, all of the above. But sometimes what's happening is life. Life is happening. Right? Absolutely. Yep. When I was six, my mom committed suicide. When I was 17, I was homeless. And I'm telling you, if you don't think that's emotional, but do you think that I knew to go get help? No, Mm -hmm. no. So the next couple of decades of my life, I thought I was a rock star, but not really. And so what I want to say is all of this relates to how we show up, our money, our jobs, our love. Tell us how. They're so related. I mean... I, I, if you have something going on physically, it almost always is going to negatively impact your emotions and your finances. So we just, we just see that again and again. And I did a session for um, a woman who is a successful realtor and investor. 
And she, ironically, was having all these blockages in trying to get permission from a neighbor and from um, the city that she lives in to do some uh, property improvements that she needed to do. So I did a session with her, and she doesn't meditate. She's super busy. She finds it super hard to relax. Very, very type A, very busy, hardworking single mom. But we just trusted. We just acted as if everything we were doing was perfectly as it should be done. And when I checked in with her, I I left there thinking, oh, my gosh, that one was rugged. It was pretty, pretty rugged because it was harder for her to connect than most people I've seen. And she didn't see any past lives. It really was about learning to relax, learning to um, more enjoy her life and more trust um, in her her abundance being easier, not being such a slog. And I was floored because when I checked in with her a couple days later, she said, you won't believe what happened. Literally within 48 hours, suddenly the neighbor agrees that she can do what she's been wanting to do for three years. Suddenly the town is like, okay, we're taking a fresh look at this. Yes, you can go ahead and do this. And she's like, I've been trying to do this for three years. I've been stuck. And she described it as a black cloud lifting. So what we were doing was a property clearing and balancing, you know, related to her. But I think what you're talking about is, and let me go back to you talking about vibration, Reiki, healing, and energy. Um, Because we can't see it, right? We, We don't see like on... Guardians of the Galaxy 2. We don't see the ball of energy, right? But we know something's not right. We know we're not living up to our potential. Right. And what's interesting is about our society, we want to go to human doing first, not human being, and certainly not human emoting. Mm -hmm. We don't want to look at the feelings, Correct. That's what so much of the doing is about, is to avoid the emotions and to avoid the being. Um, So that's what that overly scheduled, overly crazy busy um, is often about. Well, you know, in your own journey, in your own work, let's talk about this. um, My background is in psychology, so I don't practice clinically because I knew right out of the gate that if I couldn't practice spirituality, which I couldn't at the time, 2001, they didn't change the rules at that point. I couldn't even do positive psychology. I said, no, I can't do this. And so I moved on to coaching and I do cognitive work with people. Mm. But it is really clear to me, I stay on top. Dual diagnosis, addiction recovery. I stay on top. The levels of anxiety, anti-anxiety, Phobia's never been higher. Mm-hmm. Some people say it's because of the internet. I think, uh, I, I think there's some stuff going on. How do you help people that are in that realm? Mm-hmm. Uh, what I see is as a major contributor to the anxiety is people not being in their body and not being grounded. What do you mean by that? What I mean is they're just. The brain is, we're so left-brained and we're all over the place, particularly that's where the internet and all the social media comes in because there's too much screen time. But if you can teach people the simplest things to take a deep breath and picture as you do that, dropping down into your body like an elevator and then feel. Feel your energy moving down through your legs, down through the bottom of your feet, and picture putting out like tree roots all the way to the magnetic core of Mother Earth and just dropping your energy down and then pulling up support from Mother Earth and just feeling the privilege of where we live and what we get to experience Take in that simple walk in nature, doing some really bad yoga like I do. I, I can't even say I practice yoga. Oh it's my just God. bad. <laughs> thank, please, thank you for but saying still, that. still, it gets me in my body. Oh. And I laugh, oh. so that's good too. Because oh. the fastest way you can raise your vibration 
is to breathe a few times and to smile and laugh. Or picture holding a baby. Picture holding your loved one. You know, picture your puppy. Picture whatever makes your heart sing and you just naturally start to raise your vibration. You know, what I wanted to just talk with you about uh, around this is we sometimes believe we do not have the ability to change this. And some we don't. How have you been able to get, how have you been able to work with people so they could get at that thing? Because emotions are tricky, boy. They are really tricky. And, you know, a lot of times we, we hit a trigger or another life event and then forget it. It just all comes apart. How does past Mm -hmm. life regression and some of the work you do even before and after help create some shifting? That's a fantastic question because when you're in session doing past life regression, your vibration rises because you're working with someone. You both are with your higher self. You both have your guides there. So what you're doing, you're pulled up to a higher level where you are your soul and that wisdom is just coming in so you can reframe it. So the fact that you didn't get to purchase that shiny red Pontiac on whatever day and time, that just, it just does not matter. I got my shiny red dragon <laughs> shirt there. You do. I wore my shiny got red a dragon power shirt. shirt on there. I got my Very power nice. shirt on for the show. So you're able to reframe things or, or like um, the client reframing. Um, a lot of times people are reframing um, what they were still unconsciously carrying angst around that they didn't have something occur or that they were rejected by um, the loved one that they were so fixated on, yeah, uh, you know, whatever it might be. So just the wisdom comes in and allows that reframing. Yeah. You know, I wanted to ask you a question. And yeah, Benny, I think that let's go ahead and skip the break if we could. I wanted to ask you a question because... I was I was getting ready to, for the show today, and I went back and I reread a little of the book, um, and I was really struck by something happening with a friend of mine, and um, what I noticed is there is this journey she's on, and all of us get to go on a journey, and I'm listening to her journey, and I'm hearing this notion of. I'm spiritually not stuck by this idea of my spiritual journey is holding me back kind of because I'm going through this stuff and I'm depressed and I don't know if I can move forward and I've got all these great ideas, but I'm not able to move forward. And, you know, my spiritual journey saved my life, so I don't relate to this. You know, I don't relate to the idea, uh, not to say it's not true, but I don't relate to be so engaged in the story of this that all of the gifts and the ideas that were given to you may now be on the surface to revisit or not do. How do we determine what really is spiritual guidance and what's our own ego telling us that we have a spiritual story to hold us back? That's a fantastic question. Um, question two, Pat, the way you can discern if you are accurately hearing your higher self, your angels, your guides, how does the message make you feel? Do you feel loved and supported? If you close your eyes and put your hand over your heart as you're hearing it or experiencing Mm -hmm. or whatever, you will know immediately. That's a yes. That's a big yes. And get your little self moving in that direction of whatever that guidance is post-haste. If you feel maybe yes, maybe no, I feel a little, I feel a little nervous, I feel a little queasy about this, that's a no. You, you don't need that, that lower vibration, um, which is probably very likely your own ego not being quite balanced. So you, you, I'm sure you've got yeah, lots of... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's interesting to me is... Also part of this, Wendy, is figuring out if you have been a yes all along and you've been taking steps and all of a sudden now 
that changes. You know, it's an interesting place. The question that I wonder about is sometimes fear and anxiety sneaks in under the radar. Mm -hmm. I don't mean like, oh, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go see the new movie, It. I'm not going to see that. I didn't watch the first one. It scared. I I went to the first one, scared me. Mm -hmm. Can never look at a clown again. I'm not going to go to a second. So I know that. But how can we understand when we get stuck and there's fear and anxiety, but because we're so spiritual, we don't want to say that. Sometimes we're just scared. Correct. The number one thing you can do is just slow down and sit with that a moment. And then um, this lovely technique that Robin Alexis um, taught me is to ask that fear or anxiety, is this mine? Oh, yeah. Is this someone else's? Or is this a combination? And if it's not yours and purely yours, you don't need it. And you can invite that. There's there's techniques to remove that and send it up to Source Love for Healing. You don't need it. It's not your job Mm -hmm. to carry on other people's stuff. That's not your job. You can still be in... um, an empathetic, loving person, oh, yeah. but you've got to take care of you. Mm-hmm. And that's what a lot of people have lost track of, particularly single parents, particularly working mothers. And we have a society that has a plethora mm-hmm. um, of, of, of those categories. Well, and, you know, one of the things I wanted to ask you about around this, though, too, is sometimes this all leads to getting stuck in the creativity quagmire. That's when Benny would play the crust-busting jackhammer in the show. Uh, and, you know, we would talk about how to bust that up. Yes. But past life regression is a way, maybe not a jackhammer way, a more kinder, gentler way to really look at where are we being blocked? Correct. And how do I get out of this? What are the self-limiting beliefs Because your point earlier about you've become a high adept at listening and you hear language. So you hear the person that says, I'm living in poverty. I can't get out of this. You know, you hear that. And I hear a lot of people using the word hope. And I've replaced the word try. They're too passive at this point for me. I don't hope anymore. I trust. And that makes a big difference for me. And if I'm not getting it right and it's not moving along, well, obviously I'm going to, you know, redirect and, and, you know, relook at something and change. Um, But I'm going to trust and put one foot in front of the other. You know, part of this too is some people are, are absolutely trying to get it done. I don't know why the ideas are not coming. You know, I'm really stuck. You know, I can't see my way through it. And even in this logical, linear world, creativity is called for. Mm -hmm. It Imagination is, for me, and I had to get really sick to figure this out, imagination is the best thing that I can honor about myself in any given day. Because I know it's spirit-driven, right? Mm -hmm. But not everybody can do that. Does past life regression help people unlock or unblock their creativity, whatever that it is? absolutely does. I have so many people coming to me that we don't want to die with the song unsung, mm. you know, still stuck in our soul. It's getting people past the anxiety. Sometimes it's it's technical knowledge or, you know, whatever it might be, but that's that's easier to handle. It's getting them past the fear because when you put pen to paper um, – for example, as an author, it's one thing, but then to share it with the world publicly, oh. Oh. particularly if it's nonfiction, particularly if it's really close to your experience, um, that's a whole different level of you've got to get rid of um, Wayne Dyer. Um, one of his most most famous expressions I loved was your opinion of me is none of my business. And once you just stop judging yourself so harshly based on your perceived lens from other people and just look at, okay, I'm loved and supported. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. 
you know, what do I need to know technically or business wise or what connections do I need to make to get it done and then just take that risk? Well, you know, with people that are in our lives that are close to us, I mean, with my friend, I'm clearly, you know, how can I support you on this journey? You know, because it's not my uh, it's not my job to create a judgment about somebody that's going on on going through a journey like this. Mm -hmm. But she got me to reflect about my own life Mm -hmm. and where I can get very, very stuck. In, you know, the spiritual part of my journey, especially when I was sick. And I remember having a breakthrough moment. And what was that? It was a breakthrough moment of anger where I said, I am so done. I'm done with the doctors. I'm done with the diagnosis. I'm done with whatever the, what I, I'm just done. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to step into the world of possibilities. Mm-hmm. I'm going to step into the world of possibilities. What would happen if I stepped into the world of possibilities? What would happen if I stopped trying to figure a problem and ask what else is possible? What might happen? That it changes everything. That is just, that's just brilliant. It's just like, we can't control everything that happens to us, but we can control our response Getting back to your point about mm-hmm. what do we do with some of the negative emotions? How do we more balance up to be able to handle those more more um, skillfully? Uh, so, yes. Yeah. Well, listen, you're going to, are you excited about the show? Very much the so. Show? And I'm just so appreciative of, of the wonderful mentoring from you and your team, Dr. Pat. So Eight much for everybody. It's so much. I love, this is a great team of people. Um, I want to ask you. What would you say to our listeners? What could you say, you know, people that have heard a lot today, they're going to hear more from you. But, you know, what would you say to them to encourage them to think about past life regression, about what might be possible? What, why consider it? I would consider it if you want to enjoy your life more now. If you've got anything going on physical that's been baffling and has been holding you back, or the emotional, um, or financial, or relationships, you know, any of the major areas or um, concerns around um, moving forward with opening your own business, writing um, a book, becoming a musician, whatever it might be, becoming an artist, whatever it might be, be willing to take the chance to really have that joyful life. And just learn some new techniques and get your energy balanced and happy and just remove those blocks. I love it. And then I want to just say to everyone, um, you can find out more by going to uh, the website, right? Yes. Okay. Um, But more importantly, on the website, they can find out about your upcoming event. Yes. Okay. Tell us about... Uh, the new moon meditation, yes. and also the best place to find that. Okay, September 19th, um, please go to Facebook. That is the new moon, and I will be doing monthly new moon meditations with Ascended Master Mary Magdalene, um, bringing in that gorgeous divine feminine energy. And we will specifically, um, it's free. You do it from your home, so it's a remote meditation. But we'll be able to comment and work together as a Facebook event. So please join us there. Please join us the first Tuesday of the month um, here on KKNW. And I look forward to having Valerie mm-hmm. Shin and Deborah Stelfox, an astrologer and spiritual numerologist, next month. And lots of wonderful guests coming up to really help us tune into our joy. Yeah. And for those of you, if you go to uh, Wendy's uh, radio page, uh, there's a direct link to Transformation Talk Radio, which all of you can click on to listen to the show, the archives ask comments and questions uh, throughout the show. So this is exciting. It is. So I just want to say thank you to the listeners. We love you all. We so appreciate that you're um, just enjoying this moment and and taking some um, time to to learn more and, and tune into your higher wisdom. I love it. Wendy Rose Williams, everyone. I'm Dr. Pat. Next time, Wendy's going solo with her fabulous, fabulous guests. Remember, if you want to find out more about us, if you've missed any part of this today, you can go to the drpatshow.com or transformationtalkradio.com. And just a heads up, 
If you're having a hard time later on today going there, just want to tell you we're moving to a brand new, shiny, bigger server. Yep, because we heard you. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, Benny, for pushing all the right buttons. Thank you, Wendy, for a great show. And thank you to all of you. You are the best listeners on the planet. We'll see you next time. You've been listening to Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio to raise your vibration and live a joyful life. Wendy reviews crucial energy basics in fresh new ways from her perspective as a past life regressionist, Reiki master energy healer, and spiritual teacher, including how to ground, clear, and balance your energy to be sovereign. Tune into your soul's infinite wisdom, raise your vibration, and discover your greatest joy on Soul Wisdom Radio. Visit wendyrosewilliams.com to download this podcast, to learn more about having a healing session with Wendy, or to order one of her publications. 